Hey Busy Bees, I am back with another Bento World video. This time it's more substantial and it's perfect for your lunch. Actually, I'm gonna call this Bento Brain Food for Back to School, BBBs. It's perfect because it has healthy carbs, protein, and veggies for a balanced meal to keep you going when you're back in class and trying to ace those tests. Before we get started though guys, be sure to follow me on Instagram at honeysucklebees. I do live demo on weeknight dinners and I also do mini vlog cuts over there. That's really fun. This past week we celebrated Baby Eresi's 100 day celebration which is really big in Korean culture. She's a quarter Korean so it was super fun. We had so much good food and I shared it with you guys over there so go check it out. If you guys want to see more fun back to school recipe ideas be sure to follow me here. Click on that subscribe button below and we'll go ahead and get started with our first bento box which is Vietnamese inspired. First I'm gonna lay down some lettuce leaves and then scoop on some piping hot brown rice. Next I'll layer on my lemongrass grilled pork. Oh so good. So I didn't go through all the details on how to make each of these recipes because I have them all. I have a library of about 300 plus videos and I thought I would just link it to you guys for more in-depth tutorial. I will leave them in the description box below. Then I'll add some pickled daikon and carrots, some tomato slices, and some cucumber hearts. For a little more flavor, I'm gonna place a container of our fish sauce dipping sauce. This is how you traditionally eat this. It's called nuk mam jam. I'm gonna cap it. Look how colorful this bento box is. And put a lid on it. So when you're ready to enjoy your bento, you can have it at room temperature, which is what I normally do and it's totally fine. Or you can transfer everything to a plate and nuke it in the microwave for about a minute. And once it's hot, you just pour over the fish sauce and enjoy. Easy peasy, right? All right, now moving on to our next one. This is for all my vegan viewers who have been asking for a vegan recipe. This one is a teriyaki tofu that is so delicious. I'm starting with some mixed greens that I'll lay down, add a couple scoops of brown rice, then I have a skewer of grilled tofu. I just marinated the tofu in my homemade teriyaki sauce, which I showed you guys how to do it in my 5 DIY marinades video, which I will also link in the description box below. Now some fresh veggies, I have some snow peas, these are so sweet and yummy, some broccoli florets, baby cherry tomatoes and of course some cucumber carrot flowers. If you guys are wondering how I made the fun shapes with the vegetables, I got these cutters from the Japanese market and it makes it super fun. Um, you can find them at any Japanese market or on Amazon and I'll link them below. There's fun shapes like cats, bunnies, hearts, they're so cute! They're super kawaii! Finally, I'll add a side of my teriyaki sauce for dipping. Cap it. I'm like totally mesmerized by how pretty this is. And this is our vegan teriyaki tofu bento box. The tofu has a nice crust from the grill and it just has this like delicious smoky teriyaki flavor. Definitely try this one. All right, now moving on to our next bento. I was really inspired by Hawaiian plate lunches, so I created this Hawaiian bento. Again, I'm laying down some mixed greens. And this time I'm adding one ice cream scoop of brown rice and another ice cream scoop of mac salad. Gotta have my Kahlua pork and cabbage in this bento. And of course, Spam musubi. And then for some greens and veggies, I'll add asparagus spears and some crinkled butternut squash that I've already steamed. A few carrot blossoms and we are done. This is our aloha bento. Oh, take me back to Hawaii with the white sandy beaches, lava flows. Mm. I love Hawaii. Honestly, I love Hawaiian plate lunches because it's savory, filling, and so ono. Oh <laughs> you guys, I have a Spam Musubi video and also a Kahlua pork video that I made a long time ago. I look back on these old videos and I look so young and everything was so different, but 
It's still a really great recipe, so definitely check them out. I will link them in the description box below. Are you guys sick of me saying that yet? Anyways, our next one, we are going to K-Town. I'll start with some brown rice. I love seasoning it with some furikake. Then in my little silicone cup, I'm gonna add the banchan. I have some pickled bean sprouts. Then some cucumber kimchi, which is also known as oi kimchi. Some napa cabbage kimchi. And then a nice hunk of LA kalbi. Short ribs. I'm just gonna sprinkle on some sesame seeds and some carrot stars. Ta-da, we have our Korean bento. So this bento box kind of reminds me of bibimbap, which is that um, stone pot rice with all the vegetables and with the fried egg, except this one is missing the fried egg and gochujang, which is that red sauce that they normally put over. But this is just as delicious. I actually love Korean short ribs. It's like salty and sweet at the same time, and it's just so good. I love chewing it off the bone. Yum. Who's with me here? Anyways, moving on to our next one, we are going for a Cali Mex flavor. For this one, again, I'm placing a large lettuce leaf, then a layer of brown rice, my chicken tinga. I usually make chicken tinga for our taco nights, which I've told you guys before, Nate is a huge Mexican food fan and we always do taco nights. I usually switch it off between carnitas and chicken tinga, but for any leftovers, I usually put the chicken tinga over rice and it's so good. So I thought I would share this with you guys. Now some fresh veggies, broccoli florets, and some yummy zigzag butternut squash. A few tomatoes for color, and because I want to make you guys smile, smile bees! These are actually letters that I cut out in cheese. The chicken tinga recipe actually does not have a video tutorial, but I did make a blog post on it, so I'll link it to you guys down below. Weren't those super fun, guys? I love making bento boxes because they're so colorful and cute. I definitely have more fun with my meal prepping when they're in a bento box because I can put all these different shapes and colors and just mix things up. I hope you guys love this bento box series. Let me know if you guys want to see more. Definitely for back to school, I just love to have fun with it. I'm thinking next week I will make another brain food snack for you guys, so hopefully they will keep Keep you guys energized and full and ready for back to school. Let me know what you guys want to see next and be sure to comment below and tell me which bowl you would try first. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye!